In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use your iPhone 10, and this is gonna be a beginner's guide. I've basically had this iPhone since it was released in 2017, and I'd advise that you get a case and also a screen protector as well, which I've already got applied onto it, because it's a quite fragile device and it's also very expensive to get repaired. So first of all, I'm going to show you what the hardware buttons do. So on the right hand side, you've got the power button, which turns on the phone. On the bottom, you've got the lightning port to charge the phone and you've got the two speakers as well. And on the other side, you've got the volume down and volume up buttons. And then you've got the ringer button, so you can either mute or unmute your phone. And then to turn it on, all you have to do is press on the right hand side, the button there. So I'm just going to turn that on. I'll just wait for that to load up. So when the screen turns on, all you have to do is tap on the screen if it does go off again, and then swipe up from the bottom of the screen, and then it will ask for a passcode, so I'll just enter that in quickly. And then you get through to the home screen area. So on the home screen, what you can do is swipe from anywhere from this side up to this side of the notch, and then it shows you your notifications and the time. And I haven't got any notifications just yet, so it's saying no older notifications. And then here in the bottom, you can 3D touch. So you have to force press into the display very slightly. And then this will turn on the flashlight, as you can see here. And then you can like force into the display just a little bit and it will turn it off. And then here you've got the camera, so you can force into the display a little bit there and it will show the camera here as well. And then to always return, just swipe up again. And you can also access the camera by swiping towards the left hand side and also swiping up goes back again. And then if you swipe towards the right, you can get to the widgets area, but I think we will leave this out for now. And then if we swipe up from the bottom, we return back to the home screen where all our apps are. And then if we swipe downwards from this right hand side corner here, you can access control center, which is basically where you can operate different commands, such as changing the brightness of your phone. So you can just hold down like this and it'll come up or you can 3D touch. So you can force press into the display hard and it will come up quicker and you can then change the brightness from there. And you can also change the volume quickly from here or you can force into it and get it into there and then you can also access your calculator you can turn do not disturb on which means no one will interrupt you so you won't get any notifications during that time and then you can also turn the wi-fi on and off and you can turn bluetooth on and off and you can access your mobile data and you can hold down on that to access more functions which we don't need to get into right now because this is just for beginners and if you want to access all of your applications you can just swipe towards the left and you can then see them there so when we open an app for example so i'm going to be opening the app store you can see the app here and you can go through it and when you're done doing what you wanted to do inside the app all you have to do to get out of the app is to swipe up from the very bottom where this little line is. And there we have it. Say for example, an app is running really slow and it's really lagging and, or maybe it's frozen and you want to restart the app. All you have to do is swipe up from the middle and hold it in the middle of the screen. And then you'll access the app switcher, the app multitasking page. And what you can do is you can then just swipe up and it will close that app and it will basically restart it. So if we click into the app again, it will start reloading from fresh. If you want to rearrange apps on your home screen, all you have to do is hold down on one of the apps, click edit home screen, and then they'll all sort of wiggle around on the screen. And then all you have to do is hold down on one and swap it over with whichever one you want to do. Or if you want to put it into a folder, just get one app and hover it over the other one and then place it in there. And then if you tap on where it says folder, 
you can then rename it to something like utilities and then click done and then tap out of it and click the done button in the top corner and then it will make a folder out of your selection if you want to be able to use Siri all you have to do is go into settings scroll down to Siri and search and just for this tutorial I'll just turn off listen for hey Siri so if we turn it on because for you it will be turned off just press turn on and it will say set up hey Siri so click continue so all I have to do is say hey Siri then do it again hey Siri send a message hey Siri what's the weather like today hey Siri set a timer for three minutes Hey Siri, play some music. And so just by repeating those commands, Hey Siri is now ready. So if I try it out, I'll just say, Hey Siri, what's the time? It's 18.18. And there we have it. It tells me the time. So you can use that, which is quite handy. So you can also use it to turn on your torch, for example. Hey Siri, turn on the flashlight. It's on. Hey Siri, turn flashlight off. It's off. And then you can just swipe up from the bottom to go back to the home screen. You can also access Siri by holding down on the power button on this side. So if you just hold this button down, it will also come up there as well. To turn your phone off, you have to hold down on the volume down button and the power button. So if we hold those two down at the same time, it will come up to this screen and then you can also do emergency SOS from this screen as well so that will call the emergency services where you are but we're not going to do that today but we will be sliding to power off so what I'll do is I'll hold on this toggle here and then I'll just slide to complete and it will then turn off the phone for me so that's all there is in this tutorial today if this video is popular I might do an extra few tutorials as well for this device and others as well so please hit the like subscribe and also share this video as well and I'll catch you next time